And Cook's Corner is on the road. We're here in Salem at Barron's Major Brands, and we have our dear friend with us, Una Williams. And of course, you always have something tasty. What are you making for us today? Today I'm making what you can call a corn salsa or a corn salad, but it's tomato free. Much as I love tomatoes, there's an yeah. awful lot of people can't have tomatoes. And when I have celiac disease, and you end up getting more food allergies when you've got one. So mm -hmm. I always think of other people and what they can't have. And sure. a lot of time it's my, as I say, my six foot four baby. All mothers understand that I have to take care of him. Yeah. So this is a recipe, it's a corn salsa, but my girlfriend had shown me the jar at Trader Joe's. And you read all this stuff, it's so full of so many extra things. I prefer to go back to real food and most real food is naturally gluten free and free of many other allergens yeah. and it's healthier for us. So okay. that's what I, when that I talk sense. about food. So um, fresh corn picked yesterday, cooked yesterday, um, whether you steam it, boil it, grill it, whatever, and then you just cut the niblets off and you can see they're cut off but you've got to mush them to make it break up. Right. And salsas are normally spicy hot. I don't like raw onions, I don't like raw jalapenos, so what I use is a hot pepper jelly because that means the jalapenos are cooked sense. and the sweetness mellows it so you don't get raw bits in your teeth, yeah. but also um, it's there, it's yeah. a consistent heat. You still get a lot of that flavor. Yeah. And it's mm -hmm. a hot pepper jelly, a sweet one is pathetic, it's just sugar, you don't <laughs> want that. So I've got the pepper jelly in there, okay. this is fresh lime juice and fresh lime zest. And you can go one or two of those depending on how tangy you like it. Sure. So that's just pushed in with that. I have a lovely red pepper that's just cut into nice small bits. And where I haven't overcooked the corn, it's cooked, but it's still got a nice crispness to it. Yeah. You don't want it soggy. You can do this with canned or frozen corn as well. It works the same way. Then in here, I've got um, fresh green of green onions, some little bit of white onion, so it's milder, cilantro and parsley because I'm a strong believer in all the fresh herbs. Yes. They add so many flavors. And please note, I said herbs, not herbs. Herbs <laughs> is French, not English. <laughs> now, do you prefer, do you try to go organic with a lot of your stuff um, when you can? It's not always easy. Organic is far more expensive. And sure. if you look at Environmental Working Group, EWG, they're the people that do Dirty Dozen and Clean 15. Mm -hmm. They say if you can't afford organic, at least buy real food, not yeah. jars and cans and everything processed. And it's very difficult. Organic is expensive. Sure. And with all the problems with PFAS in the air and in the water, are you getting it safer anyway? So, sure. you know. So as I say, this is all the stuff the corn, the bell pepper, the herbs, <laughs> the lime, mix it together. I prefer to leave it in the fridge overnight yeah, for the flavors nice to develop. Yep. And you know, the lime juice will mellow that little bit because of the acid in it. Um, have it as a salsa, we like it as a side salad with meat. When it's several days in the fridge, use it in a stir fry with chicken to use it up for go. more flavor. And you can't ask for much fresher like this. And the kids will eat it happily. It's and not madly hot. Absolutely. This is the great thing about it. So it's another one of the recipes I do for the various cooking classes I do. And we can do some here because this is a gorgeous kitchen. Yeah, it you absolutely know? is. Yes. Una, thank you so much You're for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Stay tuned. We've got more after the break.